name is Uri Arnin. Three and a half years ago, I've started Apifix together with Professor Ishar Fluman, a very well-known spine surgeon here in Israel and the group of Trendline Medical. Apifix brings to the market a significantly less invasive scoliosis correction system. The company has made very nice progress along the years. One year after starting Epifix, we had our first in man. Soon after, we got the CE mark, and one year later, we made our first commercial sale. To date, we have enrolled 40 patients that are doing great, and in two months, we are going to sit with the FDA and discuss our 510K. This is the way scoliosis is being treated today. 20 inch long incision, fusion of 10 motion segments for life using an average of 20 screws. This is a long, complex, and very expensive procedure. This is the most invasive procedure in spine. It's being done on young people and for them, it's a problem for life. By just looking at these pictures, we understand there is a true clinical need. With the Apifix system, we insert only two screws compared to 20 and an expandable rod in between. After the operation, we encourage the patient to bend to the corrective direction. And the miniature ratchet mechanism Inside here, the heart of the system captures any minor incremental correction. And after any such minor correction, we let the body get used to the new position for several weeks. This way, step by step, in small increments a long time, we correct the deformity. Here you can see one patient that was operated here in Israel. Her scoliosis was reduced from 45 degrees to 25 degrees in just three months. And you can see how flexible and pain-free she is. I'm not sure you can see the small scar on her back. This typical procedure parameter demonstrates how significantly our procedure is less invasive compared to the alternative. Incision size, operation time, blood loss, hospitalization time are all much, much smaller compared to the alternative. And the market is very good. Over half a billion dollars a year, implants only for this specific indication with very good margin. To date, we are focused on pivotal clinical trials with opinion leaders in the UK, Holland, and France. In addition, we have started first sales in selected centers in Europe, not just to create revenues, which is nice by itself, but also to demonstrate penetration and gain real market feedback. And in addition, we are also doing initial steps in big markets such as Brazil and China, where the approval process is long and can take several years. Avalair, a well-known uh, US firm, analyzed the reimbursement status of our product. And they believe we can use existing codes to price our system for $25,000 for one unit. In two months, we are going to sit with the FDA and discuss our 510K. We believe we'll get a positive response based on the data gathered so far. Thank you. What is interesting to me is to hear about the follow-up. We have five patients that are over two years now. We have 15 patients that are over one year and 25 patients that are over six months. We don't have a single case of device-related adverse events, and the patients are doing real great.